Tonight dinner will be fantastic because tonight dinner is tacos. Yes, tacos. And you're probably saying, well, that's kind of odd because didn't you have a taco yesterday? Well, yeah, so that was a single taco. And to be fair, that taco is not going to be as good as this taco because this taco has this chicken, delicious chicken. You probably hear the Skyrim music. Yeah, that's me fighting the Arl for funsies on Mal's game. Taco salad is so freaking awesome. Anyway, the dinner was excellent as always. Good job, Mal. By the way, Mal's the one who cooked the, uh, the chicken and did everything and actually went to the store by herself to get some of the stuff we needed. But to be fair, I was working on stuff. Um, a lot of people have been asking uh, when Nintendo's coming back. No one's actually asked about Daily Pack at all. But a lot of people have been asking, you know, where's Nintendo? There's actually several episodes that have been done. I just haven't gotten them up. And uh, I've been working on a lot of other stuff. Uh, I'm not going to turn the camera over to this side of the room, but if you could see this side of the room, you'd be like, my god, what? What? And I would be like, mm-hmm, yep, yep. Anyway, cryptic messages aside, we haven't opened mail in a few days, so let's start doing that. Uh, we've got a message here from Felix in Bethesda, Maryland, and I am, I am, wait, what is this? The reading slash opening of this letter should be done by Mallory. So you're supposed to read this. Please let Mal read this letter. Dear Stephen and Mal, I am but a humble Stephenite who wishes to send his regards to you. I would first like to say I got into the vlog through Chugga Conra. Yes, I know. How new. I was a fan of his for a very long while and eventually got to thinking, hmm, I wonder what he looks like. So I searched it up on YouTube. I saw this. And there's a thumbnail of your thumbnail. <laughs> and, it, and it's... The whole description. That is Chugga Conroy. Anyway, Back go ahead. Back to the letter. Back to the letter. And my life changed forever. Apparently now a month is forever. I have been watching the vlog ever since, which led me to your LP channel. Can't wait for Shadow of the Colossus. By the way, this is before episode one is out. All I can say is you are one of the funniest LPers out there. Anyway, back to the story. Flashback noises. At first, I only watched the video because I wanted to see Chugga, but then I saw the other days with him. Oh, I said to myself, more Chugga. Little did I know, I was starting to care about what happened to the Stephen and Mal characters on the vlog. We're characters! Anyway, go ahead. I finished the Chugga Saga of the vlog and decided I would find out more about you two. So I watched some older vlogs and I was like, these people are bosses. <laughs> Stephen's his own boss and I'm also his boss. Wow. Wow. And from then on, I have closely followed your LPs in the vlog. From that story, you should extract two bits of information. I am 14, and thank you for doing what you do. You give me a reason to smile in the morning before going to school. Now on to fun stuff. I am currently watching Minecraft and the current LPs and enjoying every second. My favorite character on the vlog is probably Dan, besides you and Mal, of course. But unfortunately, I am not him. www.wikipedia.com slash Taco Bell. <laughs> One time I was obsessed with getting a Crunch Trap Supreme. I never got it. I would like to see more of Dan, but I know it must be hard to organize because of work schedules and living habits slash states. I also would like to see more of Mal, especially her funny side, i.e. I made a pie, smug face. Day 826-407. <laughs> He's linking to vlog times within the letter. There is no hyperlinking in letters, but one day in the future there will be. Continue. In this envelope, as you couldn't already tell, I've included a picture of Sammy slash 2.0 slash 3.0 slash Ed slash Ted slash one of Mallory's unnamed dogs doing what he is supposed to do. I've also included a Celebi Pokemon card signed by me, my YouTube screen name, with my actual name in Japanese katakana underneath. I have a story for both of those things. One day I came home from school and I saw the dog across my parking lot. He was the nicest looking dog I've ever seen, so I cautiously approached him. You're not supposed to go up to dogs you don't know, and let him smell my hand. He immediately rolled on his back and let me pet his stomach. He was literally the nicest dog I'd ever met. As for the Pokemon card, this has large significance in my life. When I was a little kid, I went to the toy store and saw a pack of Pokemon cards. I had no clue what it was at the time, so I bought and opened a pack. The first card in the pack was this exact card you hold in your hand. The card that convinced me to watch the show by the games. The card that made my life the way it is now. As you can guess, I'm a Pokemon fan. I hope you realize the significance of the piece of paper I have sent you. I am sorry the letter was so long. I've had so much to say, and all I could hear were Link and Pikachu. <laughs> Felix, a.k.a. McFelix200, up-and-coming Stevenite. P.S. I hate to say this, but you look like Faintle. <laughs> the letter was good until the end. Now we burn it. <laughs> <laughs> Just compare a photo of him without a helmet to you without one. 
Of course, you don't have the demonic, soul-crushing, life-ruining demonic eyes he has, but it's a facial structure thing. PPS, I officially grant you to the officially official Awesome People Award of Officiality. That sounds really official. PPPS, I'm done now. You can talk about more important things on the vlog. LOL, gonna be such a long one. This is Celebi card. So this, this is the card. This is the card that, that started a revolution in a child. And started a Pokemon craze. Wow. This is heavy stuff, man. Okay. Alright, you win. But only because this is related. I will show you what's over on the floor. Pokemon cards. My entire collection of Pokemon cards. Every single Pokemon card I collected as a child is, is on the floor. See all those Pokemon cards? That's my childhood. All those little boxes? It's my childhood. I had a lot of them. It's all gone. I'm currently in the process of uh, figuring out what I have. That's what I spent my entire day doing. I was figuring out what I had. Organizing. I, I, I finally got all the rares sorted. I'm putting the rares into a binder. Um, I put all the theme decks back in their pack. All those theme decks are complete. That's, every, that's the starter set, all of the theme decks from uh, the base set, base set 2, Jungle Fossil, Team Rocket, Neo Genesis, and I also have the Sabrina and Koga Gym Leaders decks. They're all complete. All the cards are in perfect condition. And I've got like, gee, yeah, I don't know, two or three hundred rares in a pile. The reason I spend all day doing this is because uh, I have a friend of mine who was interested in getting them in bulk. I was looking to sell my Pokemon cards all at once because, um, quite frankly, they take up a lot of room. I play Magic now. I'm a Magic player, and I like Magic. Um, but I need to get rid of the Pokemon cards because they are actually taking up a lot of room, and I need to get rid of them. So I had a friend who said, hey, I'll buy them all. And I was like, okay, I'll sell them all. Also, please don't ask who it is because I will not tell you. Anyway, I love Huskies so much. Seriously. Huskies are like some of the best dogs. Rump on the ground, sitting, Sammy23, Ed, Ted, and Mallory's dog. He's, He's like, doing what he should be doing, sitting. sitting. But seriously, I love Huskies. I mean, I'm, I'm not much of a dog person, I'm a cat person, but I could, I could go dog. I could go completely dog for a husky. Golden Retriever. Or Golden. I like Goldens, too. I don't know. I, we're not dog people, but if we became dog people, husky and golden. Is there a mix between husky and golden? Like a golden husky or husky retriever? You have no idea. Okay, that's fair. Anyway, Felix, I sincerely, and Mallory, sincerely thank you for the leather, uh, and we will make sure that that celibi gets its proper place up in the frame, especially because there's such an incredible backstory behind that. Like, that is the card. That's crazy. You want to know what I got in my first booster pack of Pokemon cards? Charizard. Seriously. My first booster pack ever. Uh, it, was, it was after I bought the starter set. I bought a booster pack at a Books A Million. It was a base set booster pack, and inside was Charizard. I had no idea what I had. I was sitting on, what was it, $100, $150? Now they're worth like five? Yeah. Anyway, we're going to move right along. We have two more letters to open, and uh, this letter is from no return address, but it's from Mobile, Alabama. And it's got these stickers of a, of a whale and a dragonfly and a butterfly. Steven knows bugs. Honestly, this reminds me of the thing in Skyrim. Like, you know how you always come to the claw doors and you have to, like, line up the picture of the goat and the mountain lion and the bar stool so you can get into the door? That's what it reminds me of. Dear Steven, I have loved your Minecraft Portal 1, 2, and Earthbound LPs. I am not a very good artist, but here is my best work. I'm over here on the left. I am very scared. I'm even saying I'm scared. This is Mao, who is in a purple dress and is also actually... I think taller than me, except for the fact that I have this crazy afro thing going on, which has actually happened before. And this is a crow. Um, I'm not really sure how the crow is related. Maybe it's like the earthbound crow, but even the, the crow was... Is this a cigarette? Because that one was Mother One. Anyway. Known on YouTube as Miss Monkey and in life, Morgan. You got me and my dad into magic and me into Let's Playing. Well, Morgan, I appreciate your leather, and I appreciate your art. I don't understand what the crow is from, but you can clear that up for me in the comments. Also, I just like to think that it's from Earthbound, because I think everything is from Earthbound. Everything is from Earthbound! My wife is from Earthbound. 
It's also cool that you and your dad are playing Magic now. Magic is awesome. I love Magic. I mean, I know that I talk about that on the vlog every once in a while, or all the time. Uh, but Magic is great, and I think that the LP helped get a lot of people into Magic. Uh, there was a lot of mistakes in the LP, and uh, people who have been playing Magic for a while probably caught them like that. But uh, the purpose of the LP was more or less trying to get people into Magic, and I'm assuming that that's what happened here, and I get a lot of messages all the time now from people who are like, Hey, I watched your Magic LP. Now I play Magic. And I'm like, well, cool. That's, that's cool. I should really get sponsored by Wizards of the Coast. Anyway, thank you, Morgan. And we're going to move on to the last letter, which is actually sort of large. Uh, it's from Preston in Ames, IA. Is that Iowa? Probably. There's no other state that starts with I, except for Indiana and Illinois and the other states that Idaho. start with I. Yeah. You know, I used to shop at a store called Ames. Dear Stephen the Mail, hi everyone, welcome back to Stephen Reads the Mail. My name is Stephen George and I read the mail, and today it's this letter. Hey, you're putting words in my mouth. Okay, enough fun. First off, let me say congrats on the marriage. Yes, I know, half a year late, but hey, better late than never, right? Anyway, first time writer, long, and I mean long time watcher and listener here. I say long, long time because I've been watching since your slash Earthbound days. I will admit that I didn't catch on to the vlog until episode 100 or so. I know, late, right? Well, not really. I mean, now now if you started watching around episode 100, you're considered, you know, an early bloomer. Early bloomer. That's probably not the phrase I should use again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also an avid fan of Fobbies Are Born, I've probably listened to the entire series close to ten times. Watching the vlogs in Stephen Place has shown me that we have a lot of similar interests in video games, food, though I'm pickier than you, technology, and other things. I just have to say how awesome it is how much you interact with your subscribers. I'm not the most active, commenting-wise, so if you don't recognize me, it's alright. I just never know what to say 90% of the time, or I'm just busy. I don't even know why I feel as though I have to explain myself. Anyway, you probably want to know the reason behind the drawing, though it's pretty obvious. I wanted to showcase all the LPs you did in the first year of Steven Plays up to the end of Minecraft, and it just so happened that you did exactly the same number of LPs as letters in Steven Plays, so that made it easier for me. Each game got its own letter with its start and end date, and something from each game as well. I haven't actually looked at the picture yet, so I'm pretty freaking excited. Well, I think I've said enough. This has been Longtime Watcher slash Listener, Preston Greed Grigel? 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 Grigel has a nice ring to it. Also known as Raichu Forever One on YouTube. And I there's recognize a Raichu. that name. Yeah. And there's a Raichu, who will literally be there forever. There's one Raichu, and it'll be there forever. Unless he meets the fate of, like, an eraser mark. Oh, man. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, because it's it's actually just the text, and then it has these little drawings that are around it, so you don't see it exa like until you're actually looking at the, each individual letters. Oh, I guess I should show you guys. I'm hogging it. I'm not sure if it's based on start date or end date, because it looks like some of them change. But they're all here. So we got uh, Portal, and then we go to Half-Life 2. And it actually says them in here. So we have Portal, Half-Life 2, and we have... Uh, the Strider up there. We have Earthbound with the Starman and the uh, the Franklin. Frank Franklin badge. Left 4 Dead 2, we got the gun. The Portal 2 uh, main LP, the single player, with the turrets and... Uh, is that Wheatley? Probably, yeah, yeah Wheatley. Is it Space? <laughs> oh, yeah. Space. <laughs> space! Then we have Amnesia the Dark Descent with the, the creepy guy. The Portal 2 co-op, which started again, but uh, I, I believe we actually got this before that even started. Over here is the continuation with episode one, then we do Donkey Kong Country, we come back, finish up the Half-Life series, darn it, <laughs> with episode two, and then we did Halo and Minecraft. It's really weird because in my mind, we did a lot in year one, but when I look at this, I don't feel like we did all that much. I'm like, well, maybe it's because we did so many like of the same series, because we did Portal, Portal 2, and Portal 2 Co-op. Those are all the same game, pretty much. Then we have Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Those are all the same game. I'm going to lump in Left 4 Dead 2 with one of those. So that's, we've done at most two games. I did Earthbound and Amnesia, and Donkey Kong Country, Halo, and Minecraft. So I guess if you consider it that way, it's like six games, seven games. So it doesn't feel like that much. It feels like we've done a lot more this year so far in just like two months than we did last year. Anyway, Preston, this is awesome, and I really appreciate this. This will go up on the art board. And your letter was also fantastic. It's, it's really nice to know that people have been watching for a long time, listening for a long time, for those who know what Fobbies or Borns is and, and have been listening to it since it debuted. Or even Slash Earthbound. Or even Slash Earthbound, which was actually before that. Oh, man, this is, this is wacky. Do you guys realize that this, I think it's, it's either September or October, but this fall, 
will mark the fifth year anniversary for Fobbies or Borange. It's nuts. It's funny because I've actually been in contact with um, Ben, Martin, and Lawahi about maybe doing something for the fifth anniversary. I think that, I don't know if I was supposed to say that. Never mind. Anyway, I appreciate all the letters that we got today. If you're watching right now and you're saying, hey, I'd like to send in a letter, you can. If you go over to the Stephen Vlog uh, channel page, look in the top right, which is this direction for the camera, uh, you'll see the address up there. And you can send something to us. We'll get it. We'll read it. We'll put it on that thing or over there on the fridge. <laughs> I'm like an air traffic controller guy. You would send planes into each other. <laughs> that plane needs to go over here. That plane needs to go over there. And I need to eat a sandwich on break. I'm going on break. <laughs> <laughs> How's that joke start? What's that do? It keeps stuff fresh. Well, that's the fresher. I'm going on break. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and be sure to join us again tomorrow. Uh, Mallory's mom is in town. Mallory's mom and her fiancé is coming, and um, I will let Mal use the camera because I feel weird to film my mother-in-law and other people that I'm not normally around. So Mal will get to film her family. Right, Mal? She's just That's fine. your job. Uh -huh, that's, that's funny. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?